All right, guys, what's up? It is Hot Wheels Tournaments here with another case unboxing. Today, we are looking at Matchbox Moving Parts Mix 5, or as some of you might know it, the E case for moving parts, as you can see, denoted there by its case code E. Mix 5 E case, you'll hear them called that interchangeably. I believe Matchbox refers to it as Mix 5, so that's what we're going to call it. But it is E case for those of you that get confused. Anyways, very excited for this one. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look, get it cut open, use my handy dandy little key here, because I struggle, I'm surprising I'm not with this, alright, there we go, that should be good, um, so there's eight cars per case, if you didn't see on the side there, this particular mix will have seven different cars, I don't know if it'll live up to the hype of mix four or the D case, but nonetheless, it's going to be very, very good. Anyways, finally, lo and behold, there we are. Here are our cars. Get that all open, pried away. We'll start with the top two here. We begin, as that slides out, with the 1964 Pontiac Grand Prix. We've seen this a lot in the moving parts line. I believe it was in the first ever mix of moving parts when they, were, when they came around. Beautiful, beautiful kind of brown, uh, tan color there. Very nice. Unfortunately, I don't have my studio lights because I'm at college, so I can't get the best lighting possible. But there we go. 1964 Pontiac Grand Prix. I'm going to set them all to the side. We will open them up after this. I just need to get the thumbnail. Fortunately, that card's kind of damaged. It doesn't matter because I collect my cars loose. But we get what is probably the most hyped car for this case, the 1975 Mitsubishi Lancer Celeste. This thing looks absolutely incredible in yellow. It's got an opening hood, as you can see. That thing just looks so freaking awesome. A lot of hype around this one. A lot of people are going to be after it. Good to see that. We follow that up with the 2019 Ford Mustang in just a beautiful, beautiful red. I've seen some pictures of this thing. It looks absolutely awesome. I can't wait to open it up and show it to you guys. Opening doors on this one. Very cool. We then followed up what is becoming a signature car in this movie part series, a recolor for the 2022 line, the 1978 Subaru Brat. We've seen it in white. We've seen it in red. Now we get it in this black with some red and orange or yellow striping. I don't know technically if that's orange or yellow, but that thing looks very cool. This might be the best version yet. The Brat's been really well done, and I'm glad to see us getting so many versions of it because it does deserve that. Then, one of my favorite castings Matchbox is currently doing, the 2018 Land Rover Vogue SE. This thing looks absolutely incredible. It's so detailed. It's so accurate to the actual car. We've seen it in black. We've seen it in white. Now we get it in kind of this uh, gunmetal grayish color. It looks absolutely incredible. Blacked out wheels. Uh, opening trunk on this one. I love the opening parts uh, with the uh, opening trunk. I think it looks so cool. And it looks really clean on this casting. And I'm sure it'll look really clean on this new version. Another one I know a lot of people are excited for. The 2006 Ford Crown Vic. Looking very nice in white. Get a chance to open that one up. This one, it's the rear opening door that opens. You don't see that too often. Usually they do the front doors. This one, I guess it makes sense. It is a police car. It gets the rear opening door. So pretty cool there. You know, you can throw all your punks who you end up arresting in your fake scenarios in there, but that thing is absolutely awesome. Happy to see that. And then we're going to get what is going to be the duplicate for the case. It is the 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, this is the two-door version. In the main line, we have the four-door. So Matchbox said we want to do the two-door, and they went ahead and made the two-door for the moving parts, and that door does open. Personally, I'm really happy about that. I've always thought the two-door looked cooler than the four-door. Um, so I'm very happy with the four-door, and I cannot wait to open this thing. And I think if there was a car you wanted to get two of in this case, it would probably be this Ford uh, Bronco. I could see some arguments for the uh, Mitsubishi, but I think the uh, Ford Bronco is the right choice. And a beautiful orange to go along with the Matchbox orange here. So I'm going to go ahead, pause the video real quick, and we'll open up these models and take a look at them out of packaging. Because, of course, we need to see that moving part in action. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these models. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my turntable with me. Uh, I forgot it at home, so I'll be having to show them by hand. But nonetheless, let's not let that stop us. Let's start with the 2006 Ford Crown Victoria police car here. All right. Oh, little piece of plastic there falling off. Wow, this thing is wedged in there good. There we go. Take that out. Let's go ahead and take a look at this sucker. Up close, Harbor Police matchbox there. You can see the headlights. I'm very fond of this when they do it. Those are plastic. Those are part of the windshield. I love it when they do that for cars. It makes the headlights look incredibly realistic. So we get plastic windshield headlights there. That looks awesome. Very nice deco on the side. I do wish we had a little tampering up front, like with that Ford logo. Let's see where that Ford logo and his grill there. Wish we got that. Anyways, here's the moving part door. You can see a uh, little bit mismatched. I believe this door is plastic, so the white doesn't exactly match with the metal. It's not super noticeable, but it's not perfect by uh, any means, which is kind of unfortunate. MHP emergency on the back there. No rear deco on this one. Flip it around. You can see this door opens as well. Cool. It says K9 there, so maybe this is a K9 unit car. But all in all, very solid. I wish those doors were metal instead of plastic. Sometimes that's just not possible, though. And front and rear deco would be nice since you are going to be paying $253 for a car. But all in all, solid for the Crown Vic. Guess we'll set it right there since it's already open. We follow that up with the 2021 Ford Bronco. Probably the model I was most hyped for in this case. These packaging is not the easiest to open, I will say that. I know a lot of people complain about the packaging because of the way it looks. Personally, I don't mind it that much, but uh, it is a little bit difficult to open at points for whatever reason. Anyways, Ford Bronco, here we are in all of its glory, and yeah, this thing is awesome. So you can see the opening part on this one is that door it stays put out. You can just fold it in, and a plain stock orange deco right there, Bronco logo on the front. The headlights, that looks awesome. The gaps in the door are a little bit noticeable. That kind of tends to happen with the opening doors, but nothing that detracts from the model too much for me, which I do like. See spare tire on the back. Focus in on it for you. Rear headlights, very nice. Ford logo, very clean, very simple, very stock. I do like how they captured that back cab area really well. That looks really accurate to the real car itself. All in all, Awesome execution on this one. Very happy to have it. Very happy to have the uh, sport or the uh, two door version because I do think that's the port version of the Bronco I prefer. We'll follow it up with the one I really like. One I really like as well, the 2018 Land Rover Vogue SE. Kind of this gunmetal gray. Fortunately, this one's going to be really hard to see in dimmer lighting. I apologize. I will try and get the uh, lighting situation figured out here for the future. Let me actually let me try something real quick. Mid video, see if it makes difference. Maybe a little bit. All right, here we go. We have the Land Rover, or Range Rover, excuse me. And see, front deco, grill, headlights, done, done. I say this every Matchbox video I do. Their deco, their uh, tampos are just so premium. They look so good. Uh, the different factory they use is just so freaking awesome in Thailand. Everything comes out clean. Nice little side detailing there. We get the rear Range Rover uh, Land Rover license plate. You can see that rear opens up so you can store all your luggage in the back of that thing. Very, very cool. Awesome opening part. And it stays open. It doesn't just follow close. It stays open. Love to see that. That's metal. You can see it matches the back there. And then on the sides, same thing on the other side. Very well done. Very well executed there. Keep going across the back. Let's take a look at the 2019 Ford Mustang in red. All right, here we go. 2019 Ford Mustang in red. And I got to say, this thing, if it'll focus, looks pretty sharp. So let's take a look at it can see right here some nice headlights you get that mustang decal on the front that looks incredibly sharp incredibly clean obviously the opening parts on this one is going to be 
don't see it's fighting me a little bit that door opens up right on the side really really nice really cool flip it around to the back you get those signature mustang taillights license plate gt logo some nice 10 spokes on there and that one is absolutely killer incredible execution from matchbox there a few more to go let's take a look at the 1978 subaru brat throw all my trash on the ground take a look at this one obviously we get that side striping i mentioned earlier the signature brat uh lettering down the side there up top some nice six spokes on this one the opening part is going to be that hood doesn't stay open but as you can see we do get a tampoed engine in there it looks really really nice let me focus on that for you Focus in on it for you. That thing looks incredible. It's hard to see the whole thing because that hood doesn't stay open, unfortunately. But full tampo on the engine there is nice. Headlights, side decals on the other side. No tail lights or back deco, which is a little unfortunate. I'd rather have that engine detailing, though. And one of my favorite details on the Brat is you get those beautiful mud flaps on the uh, bottom there that really just complete the look of the casting. This one is so incredibly well done. Moving right along, 1964 Pontiac Grand Prix. Won't dwell on this one for too long because we've seen it many times at this point. But absolute just land yacht right here in a beautiful, beautiful tan brown. I don't know exactly what you want to call it, but yeah, that thing looks awesome. Perfect car to pull up for, uh, you know, a 50s diner, 60s style diner. And opening doors, as you can see on the side here, I like the disc wheel choice here. Door gap, a little bit noticeable here, more than normal. Is it the same on that side? Yeah, just big door gaps on this car. Kind of unfortunate. Um, they've improved on them, but this was one of the earlier ones, and it remains noticeable, unfortunately. No rear deco, no front deco, but I love the chrome they use on this car Beautiful to see that chrome base on the car. Really completes that classic car look. And we'll finish it off with that car I was talking about at the very beginning. The 1975 Mitsubishi Lancer Celeste. Early Mitsubishi. As far as Hot Wheels and Matchbox go, this is by far the uh, earliest Mitsubishi model we've ever gotten. I believe we've really only seen Evos from the two brands. I don't know if we've seen anything else. We'll start with that moving part. It looks like this hood does indeed stay open. I wasn't sure if that's going to be the case. Um, they put a lot of work into keeping these hoods to start staying open recently. And this one looks awesome. As you can see, deco on the engine. That is absolutely incredible. So detailed. Really hard to see on the camera, but it is beautiful on the inside there. Go ahead, flick it down. Open it up. Leave. Oh, this, I don't know. I think that might be plastic. I don't think the yellow's quite... Maybe it is metal. I can't tell. I don't know if that's metal or plastic. Either way, the yellow pretty much perfectly matches. If it doesn't, it looks like it's just off by a hair in terms of the shading, but not noticeable enough to really care. You wouldn't be able to tell, really, unless you have it in direct light and you're looking at it real closely like I am, so that's very cool. Headlights, front grille are decoed. Nice little striping on the side. It says Celeste right there by the rear wheel. Take a look at the taillights. That thing is awesome. Wow, just beautiful, beautiful car. You can see the interior a little bit there. Just very well done. Disc wheels, beautiful yellow color. So that is going to be your seven car mix. Eight in total. You're going to get a duplicate of the Bronco here for mix five. All in all though, awesome case. Maybe not quite as insane as that mix four was but still extremely well done. The standout to me is going to remain that two-door Bronco. I think it looks great. The Mitsubishi is awesome too. The Mustang is incredible. I mean, all in all, there are six, five really good cars in this case. I don't really care for the uh, Grand Prix. The Crown Brick leaves some to be... Uh, some to be desired with those uh, plastic doors, but just incredibly well done. Super happy. Um, if that's all, uh, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.